think that's one of the biggest things that we also have to overcome as realtors, explaining that, that that's, they need to, like you said, take a step back, let you guys, the professionals, do your job and explain and direct them. We understand you live here, we understand you're emotionally tied, but at the end of the day, if you want us to do our jobs as staters and realtors, we have to follow directions. We're the pros. Absolutely. It's, all, it's teamwork. Actually, it's the realtor, mm -hmm. the stager, and the owner all coming together and figuring out what's going to be the best strategy, mm -hmm. what's going to present the property in the best light possible. And it's all about the online photography. It's about 100%. what people are going to see. Yeah. Because most people are going to be sitting in their pajamas mm -hmm. on their laptops, surfing the internet, mm -hmm. and you literally have, according to statistics, eight seconds. To impress. Otherwise, Eight wow. seconds to impress. Click. Great line. Welcome to Tuesday's Tips. As busy real estate agents out in the field, we're always looking to help our community grow. Tuesday's Tips is about allowing our community to share about their businesses and promotions and providing you, the consumer, a place to find out more about what makes this community great. Hey everyone. Dave Markowitz here, Dave Anetta, part of the Dave Anetta Real Estate team. Today is Tuesday's Tips, and today we have an amazing show. As you know, we're realtors, and we have an aspect that we use to enhance our listings, and we are here with Lauren Angel and Samantha. Lauren is part of Art of an, Art of an Angel, correct? Correct. And they are our home stagers, and when we go into houses and do the listing presentation and whatnot, they are part of our team. This enhances the whole product, and I thought it would be phenomenal to share their experience. Tell what goes into home staging, because many of you don't even know that there's another aspect of selling a home. So, guys, thanks so much for being here. We really appreciate it. Thank you for Taking the time us. out today. Thank you for having Thank us. You. And um, how'd you get into this? This great uh, oh, little, wow. you know. Um, Ten years ago, I think nobody knew really about home staging. Mm -hmm. Okay. And um, I was previous in construction. I was a paint contractor for many, many years. And, um, and even before that, my husband used, we had a moving company. Mm -hmm. I never thought this can come together. Yeah. <laughs> but somehow I, I, I found that niche and um, everything came together. And this is the most amazing thing that you can do when, when you are so passionate about you, what you love and you are able to help so many people yeah. in, in, on a very, very important thing in their life. And because when you sell your home, this is probably your biggest asset that you have right. and you do want to get the most for it. And this is where we are coming in to, to just do that. Okay. And can you tell us a little bit about now you walk into a home, mm -hmm. and whether it has already the furniture or it doesn't, what exactly do you do? What does it do for the, our client by you coming in? Okay. So value-wise, what is it going to do if they just have their normal lifestyle or an empty home rather than you coming in there and doing your job? I think the main thing is helping them display the full market value of mm -hmm. the property. Okay. Because when we own something and we live in it, we really don't see it as a product. We see it as our, our home, yes. as our yes. sanctuary, as our space. We have our family. Um, it's, it's kind of like, and we make it very personal. Mm -hmm. But when it comes time to sell, it's all about really seeing it as a, as a product, making it as appealing as possible to the demographic, mm -hmm. the buyer. Mm -hmm. And it's no longer about what you want or what you like. It's about What's going to help you sell and get the, the exactly. biggest Exactly. That's I think that's one of the biggest things that we also have to overcome as realtors, explaining that that that's they need to like you said, take a step back, let you guys the professionals do your job and explain and direct them. We understand you live here. We understand you're emotionally tied. But at the end of the day, if you want us to do our jobs as stagers and realtors, we have to follow directions. We're the pros. Absolutely. It's all it's teamwork. Actually, the realtor, mm -hmm. the stager, and the owner all coming together and figuring out what's going to be the best strategy, yes. what's going to present the property in the best light possible. And it's all about the online photography. It's about 100%. what people are going to see. Yeah. 
because most people are going to be sitting in their pajamas on their laptops surfing the internet and you literally have according to statistics eight seconds to impress to impress otherwise eight wow. seconds to impress Click great line to the next next thing if it doesn't draw you in online and yeah, actually capture the imagination of you know whoever's looking mm -hmm. um, that's what it's all about you can have an amazing house and the yeah. product, but if it's not showing well online, you're going to miss out. Yeah. You know, the thing is that we are not selling their home. That's that's the very what important to understanding, uh, to understand because we are not selling. Their home is memories. Mm -hmm. Everything they build there, it's the kids growing up. Yeah. It's uh, all the family unit, you know, safety place for them. We are not selling. This is not for sale. They are going to take all of that with them. Mm -hmm. What we are selling is a house. Yeah, it's a now, what do we need to do to this house to get the most for it? Because I'm sure that most homeowners want to sell it for the more, you know, mm -hmm. for the money yes. that right. they can get for it, <clears throat> and not just you know. Sometimes it's just to sell it because they are in a rush to sell it. Right. But when you want, I always suggest be your own investor. Put the money in, do what you need to do, and, and get the most for it. This is your, your chance mm. to get it done. And it's going to be so much easier to market and to sell it. 100%. So let me ask you a question. I know their stuff is so good. They've been on like the million dollar listing shows. They are... There we go. But for let's say entry level homes, do you guys have a strategy or tier? Do you work with entry level homes or do you only work with high end homes? Tell us a little bit what you offer to clientele. We work with everybody. Okay. And I think every house, it doesn't matter if it's a condo okay. or if it's a multi million dollar home, it's worth everything for the owner. Mm -hmm. And especially for those that this is maybe their only condo that they have. And this is everything they have. I want them to get the most. This is really, really important. And um, every house, every project, it's like the most important thing. And this is how we treat it okay. as the most important thing. Everyone is our business card. Got it. And, and we are part yes. of your team right. to make this happen. So I want, you know, in the last day, I want to leave the house mm -hmm. and for you to know we've done everything we could to secure that. Okay. And I wanted to kind of point something out because I think a lot of people think that home staging is an empty home that you come in and you put your own picture on the wall, furniture, and it's not necessarily that. No. People that have their own furniture, you guys help them, you know, declutter because sometimes when you live in your own home you cannot see the exactly. stuff so yeah, that's a great point you know i, I kind of want you to go into that like actual owners that live in there how what kind of service will you help them provide like maybe painting a wall a different color that you know if you could kind of yeah. tell them okay. well lauren doesn't really care too much for the owner occupied that's kind of like more my baby yes okay but what we, <laughs> what we do offer is the yin and the yang. <laughs> <laughs> I've moved so many times. I mean, I've lived on four continents, so well, moving yeah. to me really isn't a big deal. And for most people, actually, it's the third most stressful thing a person can do after wow. divorce wow. and death. <laughs> Where does childbearing come in? <laughs> Somewhere. Somewhere. But they moving, are the moving, according to statistics, is one of the most stressful things. Wow. So part of what we, as a team, realtor and, and uh, stager offer you is taking that stress away. Yes. You know, you are going, if you've job. decided that you're going to move, mm -hmm. start packing now. Oh. Yeah. Yeah. Start packing now and you start moving that energy and that intention right. because it's all about what you're putting out there. Mm -hmm. So decluttering. So we start with a consultation okay. and walk through the property and, you know, Sometimes it's very hard for the realtor to have that conversation. I'm actually a life coach as well, so mm. I kind of know how to be very gentle, gentle about it. Because people, it's people hard. sell for different reasons. Sometimes yes. it's because they, 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 they're moving a job, or someone's passed, mm -hmm. right. or 
they downsizing because the kids have gone to college yes. or something. They've lived in a space for 30 years and they have all these attachments. Mm -hmm. And they don't really know what's going on in the market. We think that everybody knows, but yeah. they don't. You know, maybe, they've, maybe they have done a renovation five years ago or yeah. ten years ago. Makes them an expert. And <laughs> they've updated the kitchen. But right. if something is not updated in the last five years, it's dated. Yeah. Is that how far dating things at this point? It's moving Absolutely. so quickly. And that's why when we do any okay. updating, we're looking for things that are, it's like having a little black dress. You know, it's timeless. Mm -hmm. It's not something that's going to go. And like we, we recently had that um, pink phase and everything was pink. Mm -hmm. Imagine if everybody went and just painted everything. It's no longer yeah. even relevant. Yeah. So we're looking at the house, what they have, mm -hmm. things that are not going to move. Things like, for example, flooring and um, fixtures and um, countertops and things. And then we decide on a, on a whole design mm -hmm. that's going to actually make sense for that house. It's not just like, oh, I'm going to paint it gray. Mm -hmm. There's so many variations of that. Mm -hmm. Or white. Or white. That <laughs> yeah. is the biggest mistake because white is like, it's so hard to decorate. Yeah. But white is, isn't white like the in thing now? White and grey as realtors, we always see right. all the stuff. Look, what, right. She's the expert in the, in the color thing here, but okay. white is such a general thing. There are thousands of different variations of white. Yeah. And right. each one has an undertone and an emotion mm -hmm. attached to that. But getting back to the packing and getting rid of clutter, we come along and say, okay, well, these are the things that need to be packed. Mm -hmm. Banker boxes. Ah. The best investment. Banker okay. boxes. Okay. Because you can label them and you can store them in the garage mm -hmm. and you still have access to them. Yeah, right. You do. While you are in the process of packing mm -hmm. and getting things streamlined and then put it in a in a in a storage. And get your things together, you know, what needs to be donated, what prepare to let go of the house. I mean, we can do the best we can do as a yeah. team. But we want to attract one buyer, the right buyer, that's going to fall in love with your home and 100%. give you the best price and give you the best offer. That's great, great information. Um, Very nice. Guys, thank you so much. They, thank you. Great, great information. You know, our audience is going to get take a lot of things from it. Just, we'll give you updates as well as soon as they launch their website with their service. We'll come out and let our audience know as well so they know to at that point when it when it's ready. And again, thanks so much for watching our show. We're all about giving you information. That's what it's about. And. Um, Thank you so much. Thank you so much. Thank you, guys. Thank you. Hey, guys. Thanks again for watching today's episode of Tuesday's Tips. Um, please reach out and follow us on all our social media. And if you have any real estate needs, please reach out to us. We're Dave and Etta, and we We're are the Elite Team. Take care, guys. Bye. Bye.